There are too many commands to remember. My head is spinning. Relax. You just need to apply for service provisioning, connect requirement, and initiate project. Then plan lines, configure data, and perform on-site construction. Finish up, accept the project, make modifications accordingly, and then accept the project again. Got it? Hold on a sec. What was that? <gasps> During device deployment, check the menu, find device configuration, check the device differences, set out configuration, and then enter commands. During all this, make sure that every command is correct. <sighs> to complete device deployment, you need to travel to China, then to Singapore, then to Switzerland, then to Italy, and finally to South Africa. Are you serious? Deploying a service on a traditional WAN can be time-consuming, technically complex, and costly in terms of labor. As a result, service provisioning is often slow. Huawei SD-WAN email-based deployment relies on information sent via email to enable device plug-and-play. Site deployment is fast and simple, increasing efficiency. You can easily complete SD-WAN email-based deployment in just four steps. Step 1. Network Administrator Configure the basics required for device deployment on the iMaster NCE campus. That is, add devices, create sites, and configure WAN site links. Step 2. Send an email with the URL containing device deployment information to on-site deployment personnel. Step 3. On-site deployment personnel just need to open the URL in the email to implement one-click deployment. Step 4. The network administrator can also confirm that the device is successfully registered on the NCE. Pretty simple, huh? Now let me show you how to perform all the necessary operations in more detail. First, configure the basics required for device deployment. Before adding a device, make sure its global configuration is complete. On the Device Management page, add the device to the NCE using the ESN or Device Model. If you use the Device Model, you do not need to deliver the device within the specified ESN to the site, preventing incorrect device delivery. Select the AR device type and specify whether the device is an RR. On the Site Management page, Create a site and then add related devices to the site. If you need to deploy many sites with similar network parameters, it's best to configure a site template. Here, specify information such as the WAN link name, device, and port number, and apply the template to the sites for faster deployment. On the ZTP configuration page, Select the Configure template and configure parameters such as the VN instance, access mode, and upstream and downstream capacities. Great! Now you're finished with configuring the WAN link parameters required for deployment. You can import the global NTP configuration or configure NTP manually. Select the site you want to activate and click Send Email. Set the email address of the on-site deployment personnel and select the configured email template. Edit the email content as required and click OK to send the deployment email. If for some reason you cannot send the deployment email, click Download ZTP file to send the deployment information using another option like a USB flash drive. The ZTP file will basically have the same content as the deployment email. Deliver devices to sites. On-site deployment personnel can now install, connect, and power on the devices. Use various terminals such as laptops and mobile phones to deploy devices in wired or wireless mode. The following describes how to deploy a device in wired mode. For wired deployment, Use an Ethernet cable to connect the laptop to the management network port of the device. Then set the NIC address of the laptop and the management IP address of the device to the same network segment. Open the deployment URL. Set URL encryption key. The key must be the same as the one globally configured on the NCE. 
After you click Confirm Deployment, the device parses the IP address in the URL and initiates a registration request to the NCE. The NCE then delivers the basic configurations required before deploying the device. If you see this message, Network Registration Success, the deployment is successful. The deployment is simple, so any hardware deployment engineer can do it without specialized networking skills. After about one or two minutes, you can view the deployment result on the NCE. On the device management page, find the device you wish to check. If the device status is normal, it has been successfully registered with the NCE and went online. With Huawei SD-WAN email-based deployment, you can provision branch networks in just minutes, helping you to get ahead of the competition.